All right, here is our final version of a bicycle generator with uh, the electronics co to control 12 volt applications as well as uh, just normal household uh, light bulbs and, and different appliances. Um, we built a, a wooden bike stand, just basically made out of uh, plywood and uh, two by sixes, two by fours, and two by eights. And our electrical generator is a 24 volt uh, replacement scooter motor, motor and uh, it's rated at 250 watts. And uh, this electrical board, uh, the connection to the generator goes straight to an ultra capacitor, uh, a 12 volt DC to AC converter, um, a what's up meter or a kilowatt meter to give us an idea of the power output or the power being used by anything plugged into our strip. And I've got a voltmeter hooked up so that we can tell the voltage of the battery and any current that's going into or out of the battery. So let me, let's give you a quick demonstration of how this all works. Um, Eric's going to start pedaling. And as, he, as soon as he starts pedaling, our generator is going to start generating uh, a DC voltage. And our car audio supercapacitor has a voltmeter directly on it. So you can actually look to try to maintain the 12 to 14 volts necessary so that our converter will be able to turn that into 120 volts to, in this case, power our different light bulbs on our light box. So we're in the proper range, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on our converter. It's already on. And you can see that the output is about 120 volts. And looks like, even without things being on, we're drawing about 3, three watts. So let me start flipping these switches on. We'll see if this actually gets harder to pedal. So one light bulb is at about 21 watts. The second light bulb, about anywhere from 30 to 50 watts. Looks like about constant about 34. I'll try a third light bulb. Okay, we're at about 50 watts or so. And how is that pedaling, uh, powering three light bulbs and not just one? A little tougher. A little tougher? A little bit. Okay. Well, you could probably maintain this for a little while. Couple minutes. Couple minutes, yeah. okay, not much longer. All right, so all of this is actually being uh, directly powered from our generator uh, without the battery. Notice that the battery is not actually hooked up to the terminals. All right, so go ahead and stop pedaling. And notice uh, all the light bulbs showed off immediately. Our capacitor is discharging, it's below 10 volts, so it's not, our converter is not putting out 120 volts. So that, that uh, beeping sound is actually a low voltage warning on there telling us that we're not in the voltage range, ne range necessary to convert our 12 volts or approximately 12 volts into 120 volts. So um, we also have a battery that can be charged and used just to uh, power applications without our bicycle generator. So there's a certain way that we have to hook up our battery so that we don't uh, do anything dangerous. So in order to do this, um, Eric needs to start pedaling so that the capacitor has about 12 volts on its plate. If the capacitor doesn't have any charge on its plate, and we go and we go and directly connect these to the battery terminals, we're going to get a real sudden inrush of current to uh, fill up that capacitor, uh, and it'll cause a pretty big spark. So as long as we have a, a voltage that's fairly close to the voltage of the battery, I'm just going to go and connect our leads to our battery, and we shouldn't get any spark. All right, there we go. So if we turn on the voltmeter, this should tell us, that, there we go, the voltage of our battery. So you can go ahead and stop pedaling. And now notice even though the we're no longer pedaling, this tells us the voltage on our battery, which is pretty close to what our voltmeter tells us. So as long as this is plugged in and we have uh, energy stored in our battery, we should be able to operate everything else um, just as is without pedaling. So all of our light bulbs, let's see. For some reason that's not functioning anymore. Oh well. Okay, one last thing. Um, I also have this uh, multimeter hooked up so that we can tell how much current is going out of the battery or coming into the battery. 
this positive 6.21 means there's uh, 6.21 or 23 amps coming out of our battery. Um, I'm going to turn just one light bulb on. Notice now with only one light bulb, there's only 2.72 amps coming out of our battery at about 12 volts. So that's approximately what? 30 watts, 20 watts, something like that. So if Eric starts pedaling again, actually we should see that uh, some of the output from the generator is going to power the light bulb. So less current needs to come out of our battery. And notice if you pedal a little faster, Notice that that negative says that's how much current is going into the battery. And so right now, this pedaling is actually powering our light bulb as well as charging our battery. So there's our electrical board and our bicycle generator.